Hey everybody, welcome to Pete's Grill. Today, we're gonna do a center cut boneless pork loin. These are on sale for a really good price. You can get them at Costco for like a dollar ninety-nine. Now these are the, this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take some horseradish mustard, put a nice coat on there as a, as a binder. We're gonna use this Kinder's blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. And then we're gonna put some rosemary, parsley, and thyme on top to make this a nice savory flavor. So first we're gonna start with some of our must, horse mustard. It's got a little horseradish in it, so it'll give it a little flavor. I'm going for a savory flavor on this, not not a sweet taste. So, okay. So now let me come over here, and wash my hands off real quick. And the mustard, all that's for is just to add a binder to help the spices stick. And now we're going to start with our salt, pepper, garlic blend. This stuff is great. I use it on briskets. It's great on beef great on pork it's if you don't want sweet and you want savory then the salt pepper garlic is the way to go so we're getting this nice we to have a nice crust on all sides of this especially the ends and the bottom and we want to pat it on to get a good coat on there okay so now we've got a nice coat of that on there we we'll take a little bit of our other spices Rosemary, just sprinkling a little bit on the top, just to, so some of that flavor from the rosemary can get in. A little parsley, a little bit more savoriness on here. Not too much, and some thyme. Okay. So now that's it. Now we're going to take it, take it over here, put it on our smoker. Got our smoker going at 220, going at 225, where I like to start. So we're going to go nice and slow on this. And our target temperature for pork is going to be 145. So we'll get our probe in there. Put that seasoning on there. And we'll put it on there and let this rec tech do its thing. And we'll be back. Thank you. Okay, roast has been in for about an hour and a half. Internal temperature is about 106 degrees. I'm gonna hit it with a little apple cider vinegar and water mixture. Let's keep it drying out. And then we'll let it keep cooking. All right, so our pork roast is done. It's reached our 145 internal temperature. It looks really nice. It's got a nice crust on it. Looks like it came out really good. We'll let it sit on the counter for a few minutes and we'll slice into it and take a taste test. Okay, so here we are. We're slicing it. Nice uh, smoke ring there. So let's take, a, let's take a little taste of it. It looks really juicy, moist. Cooked it to 145 internal temperature. Very good. You can taste the garlic and the rosemary and thyme on the outside. Made a beautiful smoke ring, cooked it at 225, about three hours. Just watch the temperature until it got up to 225. Well, there you go. Thanks, everybody.